Hello YouTube, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I want to talk about the PowerPoint 2016 exam, and we're going to look at specifically the domain called Create and Manage Presentations. Overall, this accommodates for 30 to 35% of the overall exam. I'll go ahead and throw up a graphic so you can look at the domain with me. In this domain is seven different subdomains. Because of the amount of content that's in this domain, this video is going to be broken up into two sections. This is the first video, and in this video, we're going to talk about create a presentation, insert and format slides, and modify slide handouts and notes. Let's go ahead and jump into PowerPoint. We are looking at the PowerPoint 2016 exam. And we're looking at the first subdomain called Create and Manage Presentations. Specifically, we're looking at the first subdomain called Create a Presentation. The first thing that this domain tells us that we need to be able to do is to create a new presentation. If you have the PowerPoint icon in your taskbar, you could just click there, or you could click the Start menu and scroll through your programs until you get to PowerPoint and click on the icon. The second thing that this subdomain tells us that we need to be able to do is to create a presentation based on a template. To do that, we'll click File, New. And within this section, you have a blank presentation, but you also have some templates that you can use. You could also search for specific templates if you know the name of one of them. For this task, we'll click Quotable. And notice that we have some variants here that we can choose. I'll keep the color that's selected by clicking Create. And the final thing that this subdomain tells us that we need to be able to do is to import Word document outlines. Now, before we do that, I want to go ahead and just open up this Word document that I have. And this is what we're going to import into this presentation. Notice it's just a few bullet points. We're on the Home tab. We're in the Slides group. I'm going to click the New Slide dropdown. And what I want to select here is slides from outline. We'll select that word file we were looking at and click insert. And notice it went ahead and inserted those slides below our first slide. You should note that anytime you're going to insert slides from outline, that it's always going to put those slides after the slide that you have selected. We're looking at insert and format slides. It tells us that we need to be able to insert specific slide layouts. I have my cursor currently on the first slide and from the home tab and in the slides group, I can click new slide. And from this drop down, I can select any of these layouts. Let's go ahead and insert the two content. And notice it went ahead and it inserted a slide after that first slide that I had selected. And the layout is the two content. This domain tells us we need to be able to duplicate existing slides. So I'm going to go ahead and put my cursor on slide three and I can use the control C and then the control V feature to copy and paste the slide or I can right click on the slide and select duplicate slide. We're told that we need to be able to hide and unhide slides. Maybe I didn't want to see the second duplicate slide. What I can do is right click on it and click hide slide. And if you look very carefully at the number four, you can see it's slashed out. That means that when I run this presentation, slide four won't appear. In order to unhide it, all I need to do is right click and select hide slide again. And notice that four is not crossed out and this slide is no longer grayed out. We're also told that we need to be able to delete slides. With slide four selected, I could hit the delete key on my keyboard or I can right click on it and select delete. Something else that we're told that we should be able to do is to apply a different slide layout. With slide four selected, I'm on the home tab, I'm in the slides group. I'm gonna click the layout dropdown and instead of a title and content, let's go ahead and change it to two content. And I went ahead and I've changed the layout of that slide. This domain tells us we need to be able to modify individual slide backgrounds. Let's go ahead and select slide five. And with slide five selected, I'm going to go to the design tab. I'm in the customize group. I'm going to click the format background. 
In this section, I have the option of choosing a lot of different settings. For this, we'll go ahead and select solid fill and we'll change our color from red to yellow. I have the option of changing the transparency here. Now the changes that I've made have only been applied to this slide, but I have the option of applying it to all of the slides within this presentation. I can also click reset background to bring it back to its original settings. I'll close out of this pane. And the last thing that this domain tells us that we need to be able to do is to insert slide headers, footers, and page numbers. Let's go to the insert tab. We're in the text group. I'm gonna click header and footer. And in this dialog box, I actually have a lot of options. The first one is the date and the time. With that checked, I have the option to update automatically or I can put a fixed date in. I can also add the slide number and in the footer, I can put in specific text that I want it to say. Maybe I want it to say my name. And then I have the option to apply that to just this slide, or I can apply to all. If I need to apply to all, something I might be asked to do is to not display this on the title slide. So if I check this box, I can then apply it to the entire presentation minus the title slide. We're looking at the modify slides, handouts, and notes. The first thing that this domain tells us that we need to be able to do is to change the slide master theme or background. We're going to go to the view tab. In our master views, we're going to select slide master. Now, I'll be honest with you, slide master is probably one of the more complicated concepts on the PowerPoint 2016 exam. And it's the feature that my students have the most issues with. By default, I'm put on the title slide master, and this throws a lot of my students off. What I want to do is go to the all the way to the top to the master slide master, or at least that's what I call it. Anything that you do to this slide is going to affect all of the layouts throughout this. If you're not sure which part of the slide master you're on, you can hover over the icons on the left hand side and you'll be able to see which one you're looking at. For example, this one right here is the title slide. This one's title and content layout. So let's go ahead and look at changing the master theme. I'm on the slide master tab and I'm in the edit theme group. I'm just going to click the themes drop down and then from here I can select whatever I want. We'll go ahead and select ion board and notice the presentation updated with that theme. We're also told that we need to be able to modify the background. We're on the slide master. We're in the background group. And what I'm going to do is select the background styles. And I have the option to make those changes here. I can also click format background, which is going to give me more settings to the right. We'll go ahead and close out of this. We're also told that we need to be able to modify the slide master content. So for example, if I go ahead and select this title and I go to the home tab, I can change the font here to be something different. I can change the color. You can edit the size, you can make it bold, centered. I think you get the hint on this. There's really a lot that I can do to modify these. I can also change these here, the different fonts, colors, spacing. There's really a lot you can do as far as changing the content. We're told that we need to be able to create a slide layout. Let's go back to the slide master. We're in the edit master. And what I'm gonna do is select insert layout. And then went ahead and put that down below. By default, the name is custom layout, but I can rename this by clicking rename and just changing the name. We'll go ahead and call it my name. We'll click rename and notice that layout now has my name. Within this layout, there's not a lot going on in this. And so I can make some changes to it. For example, in my master layout group, I can click insert placeholder and I have a lot of options here. Most of your layouts have this content one, but if I only wanted text in a box, I can select that and just click and drag my layout. And I'm not limited to that. I could draw a table here. Maybe I want media in the right hand corner. In addition to adding content to the layouts, I can also delete stuff. So for example, if I select the outside edge of this footer, notice that it went ahead and selected that. I can hit the delete key on my keyboard to delete that footer. Maybe I didn't want that media after all. And go ahead and select it and click delete. And you can do that on any of the slide layouts. 
you should be familiar with some of the other features in the slide master to exit out of the slide master all we need to do is click close master view and it brings me back to my presentation notice here the changes that we made to the master slide have been applied to this title this domain tells us that we need to be able to modify the handout master let's go back to the view tab we're in the master views group i'm going to click handout master the handout master ribbon has many of the same features that the slide master had so i'm not going to cover the features in this in detail but i do want you to note that you can select things like the header and delete these out as well you can also modify some of the font and text settings to close out of the handout master you just want to go to the handout master ribbon and click close master view and finally it tells us that we need to be able to modify the notes master so we'll go back to the view tab and we're in the master views group we'll select notes master and again the notes master ribbon is very similar to the other two master views that we've looked at you should be familiar with all three ribbons and some of the things that you can do within those master views we'll go ahead and click close master view